But I'm going to try to leave you guys with just a couple of analogies today, things I've thought about here in the year and, and when I was in legislature, and, and then just kind of the perceived ideas and stuff from the coffee shops and my friends back home and where they see our party going. Everybody's probably pretty you know, familiar with the story about the prodigal son. And, uh, and I think that we can liken what we've done with the Republican Party with the prodigal son in the past, you know, last probably 10 years. I think 10 years ago, everybody would have looked at the Republican Party and said, hey, look, we're really fixing to make this a two-party state. We've got the ability to really step forward and, and do something here. But instead, we took our political capital and we went out and wasted it. You know, we, we decided we were going to try to be something that we weren't. We left home. We forgot about our roots. And I mean, I'm going to challenge all of our political leaders and our, and our representatives and, and senators. What we've got to do is go back home, and we're going to have to ask for forgiveness for what we've done. You know, we embrace the ideals of big government in the Republican Party, I mean, more on the national level than probably even on the statewide level. And I think in doing that, we've really hurt ourselves. And like I said, it's going to be key for us to go back home and, and, and just ask for forgiveness and be who we are and, and, and try to start this party all over again. Another analogy that really kind of hit home to me uh, this past year, we had a huge ice storm. And uh, we, you guys might not have seen so much of it here in central Arkansas, but uh, I grew up in northwest Arkansas around a little place called Maynard, Arkansas. There's like 350 people there. It was a hit back home pretty hard. And uh, we've got our family farm there. We went back up and looked. You know, we used to have these huge oak trees out in the middle of the fields. You know, they're like pillars. I mean, just beautiful oak trees. And almost every single one of them just split down the middle. And it, you know, it was just, it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> now, I mean, we've had this farm forever, and all of a sudden, that combined with the tornado, we're pretty much gonna have pasture land, whereas before it was just kind of a hodgepodge farm that was just a beautiful place to look at. It will be again one day, but uh, we're pretty discouraged about the, the ice storm when it come through. But I really liken the party and, and, and our makeup and how we are to like an oak tree, okay? I mean, we're a very strong party. And, and we're conservative. You know, an oak tree takes forever to grow, and it's a slow to change, doesn't really accept change. And But it's a strong tree, you know, one of the strongest trees there is, as long as it's grown right. And I think that what we've done in this whole part where I'm talking about where we've got to go back home and ask forgiveness, we've really tried to be something that we weren't. You know, the Democrat Party is probably a lot more like a willow tree. They can flap back and forth, they can go around <laughs> in the wind, and, and they can tolerate that change. They can be conservative one day and extremely liberal the next. Uh, we can't do that. Our, our, our base, our followers, our supporters don't expect that from us. Okay, so we, we can't do that. And what we've done, uh, like I said, started in my estimation probably about 10 years ago. We really tried to grow our branches. You know, we thought, well, we're going to take this issue, issue and we're going to give here. We're going to try to be like this. We're going to try to be like that. Well, our branches got extremely wide and long. And with that, in that meantime, while, while we were growing our branches, we completely forgot about the base and where we came from. We forgot about the ideals of rugged individualism. We, we forgot about our conservative values. And so what happened was the first time the store came through, what did we do? Well, the branches were too heavy and we just split the party. And we lost ground. And I, and I really think that what we've got to do is trim our branches, remember who we are, return to our conservative values, 